Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the Windows Media Overlay in the notification area. So let's say you're playing a video like this one here. And you click on your notification area by the speaker here. You can see it shows it playing here and you can't close it out from here. You can pause it and that type of thing, but you can't close it. And let's say we switch to something else here. And now this one's taken over. All right, so we just did a video on how to disable this for websites when you're using uh, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Let's say you're playing a YouTube video, but that only works for those browsers. It's not going to work for something like Windows Media Player. So if you want to do it for something like that, um, you're going to have to use a third-party tool like Windhawk, whereas for the other ones, there was just a little browser edit you could do. So I'll put a link in the description for the uh, video that shows you how to do it for your browsers. All right, so if you don't mind installing Windhawk, then you could use that to actually disable this. All right, so Windhawk, it's a free tool, so you download the main Windhawk app, and then it works by installing mods into Windhawk that actually tweak the way Windows looks and functions. All right, so once you install it, you'll have your home section, which will show you any installed mods, any featured mods, and then you can click on Explore and you know do a search or just kind of browse through or sort and that type of thing and then once you find the one you like you just click on details and install so I already have this one installed so what you would do is do a search for Windows 11 notification center styler in the search box here and then click on details and install and then once you have it installed you can you know make sure it's enabled so this actually has a bunch of options to change your themes and that type of thing. But we're not going to use it to change the themes even though you can. So what we want to do is go to the settings section here. And we're going to leave the theme on none because we're not interested in changing a theme. So what we're going to do is add some information to the target and styles. So this is what you need to add to the target box. And this is what you need to add to the styles box. So I'll put both of these in the description that way you can just copy and paste. And then once you have your settings there, make sure you click on the Save button and make sure it's enabled. So let me disable it first here. All right, you can see we have the song playing. And then if I enable it, now it's not playing any longer. And if I go back to this video here, you can see it's not there as well. And then if I disable it, now it's back. And of course, if you want your overlay to come back, you could just enable it, disable it as needed. Or you could go back out here, disable the whole app if you want. Remove it from here, remove it from here, whatever you like to do. All right, so once again, install Windhawk. So I'll put a link in the description for that. Do a search for Windows 11 Notification Center Styler in the Explore section. Once you find it, click on Details and Install. And then once you have it installed, go to the settings. You could change the theme if you want, I suppose. But you want to put in this information for target and styles. Make sure you click on Save Settings, and then you'll no longer have those pop-ups. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.